Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers, and this is part 34 of Gran Turismo 6. And unprecedented for me, I might actually record three videos in a row. And I don't know why that would be important for you guys, but it is important for me because, uh, well, I'm going to be doing the classic muscle car series and the GT National Championship. That'll be next episode, that. Um, but there's quite a lot of t uh, things there, so I had stars, so I don't know if that would take two episodes. But what I was going to say was, well, I'm going to be end up doing the GT Academy. And apparently round two has begun. I can't do any of it, though. So, yeah, I have no idea if I'm going to record that. But that might be the third one that I record. It doesn't matter, because if it comes up, whatever. If, um, I also need to do that, but I'm not going to do that yet. Let's, anyway, let's just do the, car, the, 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 the classic muscle car uh, event. Do I have a car in my carriage? Yes. Yes, in fact, I do. And what's the, uh, 600 or less? Well, uh... Shoot sure this uh for GT40 15th anniversary. Thanks Roscoe again for all that. Um will be useful in this event. I wouldn't actually call the GT40 a muscle car, I'd call it more of a suit car, but I suppose based on uh, you know I'm thinking of the right car, eh? GT40 the um the Ford GT. That's what it looks like, isn't it? I wonder what the hell the special is. There's a car called The Special, and I have no idea what that is. If that's DLC or something, I have no idea, but I want to know. Or if it's just a car that is literally just called The Special. I will have to have a look. He's currently in first. And this has got a cockpit but view, but yes, it is the vehicle that I was expecting. I wish I could, you know, go instead of doing the rolling start at the 50 mile an hour. Which Sounds awful. There we go. Jesus, that was a, was a long build up, to be honest. At 50 mile an hour. Wow, this car handles awfully. My god. I'm gonna try and drive in this view because I seem to drive better in this view if the car handles awfully for some reason. I think the fact that I, you know, went off the track as well may have had something to do with that. Right, well, I am not a big fan of muscle cars, mainly because they're not sold that much in Europe. Um, I know of the Dodge Challenger and the Ford Mustang and stuff, but like I, I couldn't tell you what like half of these actual vehicles are. I know that's a um, that's a Charger. Because it's the um, Dukes of Hazard, and I'm off the track again. Because it's the Dukes of Hazard car, I think. Like I said, that's how bad it is. We we don't have muscle cars really in Europe because they're just useless for our roads. Because they're, they're like really wide and just huge gas guzzlers. And the problem with, like, obviously European cars is, well, it's not really a problem, it's a benefit, but the, the thing when you're buying a bus car is, so I've heard from Americans, other sites such as Reddit, is that the benefit you get of buying a bus car is it's about the same price as buying a regular, like, family car. So that's good if you are, like, a college student or something, and you're buying that car because it has lots of horsepower, and in some cases, the insurance can actually be cheaper. But bear in mind, this is what I've read. It may not be exactly true. Um, but, yeah. that That's what they said. It's like, the insurance can be sometimes cheaper, and it's got a lot more horsepower. But, you know, a lot more uh, bang for the buck, as people would say. Uh, but that doesn't really matter over here in Europe, because you have BMWs, you have Mercedes, you have you know, brands like that. Hell, even Lexus. And you can get these, I mean, they're still expensive for, like, a family car. Um, I mean, but you can, you can get them 
low end, 30,000 euro, yeah, 30,000 euros, I think, low end ones. Gonna have more horsepower than the muscle car, and I'm off the track again. God, this car is terrible. I would like to get back on the track. Oh my god. <coughs> yeah, I, I may be choosing a different car after the next event. I feel. I want to find out what the hell this special is anyway. But, yeah, that, that's the thing. It's like, you can... You can get a car with equal amount of horsepower, but, you know, four seats. And with actually good build quality, you know, like BMW, Mercedes, they're, they're, they're pretty good build quality, you know, I mean... It's German reliability, but of course, import taxes and stuff in America. I mean, you know, the muscle cars are cheap. And I'm off the track again, Jesus. This is not a good car. For me. I mean, maybe I just need to tame it, but... I mean, what is it? This is like a car from what, 66? It didn't have tracking control and stuff like that back then, so... Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna win this race. Although I may be able to find out what the special is. Shit! Can I beat it? Come on! Come on! Come on! I don't think that's what the special is. Because it was the exact same car as me. I think. But well, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the special was whatever was in third. Can I, uh, change the... No. I wanted to, like, change between the different... Right, but at least I won. That was... That was me. God, that got my heart... That is the kind of challenge that I want in a video game. You know? I want to be challenged like that all the time. Right, let's do- I am going to choose a different car, though. Uh, you know, I'm going to do the, uh, the old trick that I've been doing. And, you know, car search, and get a muscle car. You know, I'm going to Google- Google. I'm going to search special. There we go. Special. Display search results. The special. Let's see if any of these are. Is this it? Who makes this? The Bu Ah, the Buick Special. Right, I see. Um, that's kind of expensive. I was actually gonna buy that, and then I was like, no, nah, that's expensive. Um, so no, I don't, I don't want. That being it, uh, max 600. Can I like set like a? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just hope that some kind of like muscle car comes up. Let's just go right to the end. No, because then like all the things. Will be like that will be there. Uh, and it's classic muscle cars as well. I would really want to drive that, but I'm not spending a million credits right now. Red Devil, when did this come out? Doesn't say the year, I don't think. Does it? Some. I'll be told in the. What what cars can I have? This, this is the first one where I've been really stumped on like cars that I can have. 
classic muscle car series. No, not that then, although, you know, to me, it matter. Uh, change car. But you can have entry requirements. 1980 or earlier, United States country. Right. Okay. Can't be that difficult. Just go back to there. And, uh. So, yeah. 1980. Alright. 38 cups. Set the year result. Right. Because that's from 1980, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna have to disable that include cars from unknown years. Right. There we go. There are no cars that reach that exact limit, though. The Corvette. I want to, want to spend the money on it. You know, no, I'm. Th this is a completely worthless thing to do because I may as well just keep that. I'm, I'm going to stay in the. Not that event. I'm going to stay in the GD40. And I know I said I wasn't going to, but I'm, I'm going to. Because I, I'm just really confused, and I'm like, what the hell? Oh, the El Camino is involved! And the Corvette C2. Or oh, whatever. Oh, when Laguna Seca? Hmm. Didn't even notice. Like Laguna Seca, Laguna... Why does that take forever for like the dials to well, appear? It's gonna say spawn in, but I don't think that's the correct word to use. I wanna Well I don't think it's gonna happen unless this in game has becomes a really, really popular channel on YouTube, but I really wanna try that thing that Clarkson did. Jeremy Clarkson? Um, years ago on Top Gear, he did a thing where he's like, ah, oh, video games, really realistic. And he got a, he, he played Gran Turismo 4, in fact, uh, and did Laguna Seca uh, with an NSX to see if he could beat the video game time. Because obviously games, it was to find out if the game was too unrealistic. But he came to the conclusion that I'm driving a car. That this is real life. I don't want to crash and die. But in the video game, I can just push myself to the absolute limit of what's possible because I don't have to worry about smashing straight into a wall and killing myself. Is what he said. And also the fact that the game had corners. Like, sorry, the game didn't put corners in that uh, existed in real life, and the car seemed fast too and stuff. Then it was in real life. Just a thing that he said. But Lagoon Sake has always been one of my favourite tracks. Ever since I, I, I've played it. I didn't really like it at first, well not, that's not exactly true, I didn't like it first time play it, but I've got used to it now, and I like it, I, I especially like the, um, the corkscrew, I think it's called a corkscrew, isn't it? Pretty sure it's called a corkscrew. It's a bit weird, because that's the name of a roller coaster, well, it's ages away from me, but it's somewhat near me in a theme park. The closest theme park to where I am, is where I should say. So that always confused me. And I find it funny when they have like the... I did this in a Forza 5 screen. The, uh, well, when I record this, I did it just the other day, but obviously that time has come back. A couple of days ago, uh, well, a couple of weeks ago now. Um, where I was like... It's really weird when they have advertising for other games.
on um, like when like they leave the advertising up in games because it's like so that was either an advertisement for the competing platform or you couldn't just pay the companies to get the money and there's that picture that I saw at one point on the Forza Motorsport website because Forza had sponsored Le Mans but also Sony had sponsored I should say PlayStation had sponsored it so the Forza Motorsport car crashed or broke down one of the two. Oh no 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 that was it there, there was a car sponsored by PlayStation and Forza had sponsored the actual event and the PlayStation car broke down outside an advertisement for Forza Motorsport 4 or Forza Horizon or one might have even been Forza 5 I can't remember now no I think it was yeah it was definitely Forza 4 or oh, right. like it was between 20 Okay. No, 2011 and 2012, when those two games came out. So it could be an either one of those two. And it was just funny, because it's like, that advertisement for... Like, the car advertising Gran Turismo is not in Forza. And, well, you know for a fact that Le Mans... I can't even remember if Le Mans is even in Gran Turismo. I don't think it is, is it? I don't know. But uh, if it is, I don't think the Forza advert's going to be there. That's why it's funny, like, when you have two competing companies advertising the same thing. Just weird, really. We're going to win? Well, of course we're going to win. Look how far ahead we got. Yeah, I'm, gl I'm still glad I chose this car. I mean, it's a bitch to control, but it it's it's worth it. I seem to got the hang of it as well now. You earned three stars. Good for me, I guess. Ooh, the Cobra Fu 27 SC slash Chrome. It was uh, the final car that I overtook. And uh, Matterhorn, yeah! This is a great car for muscle cars! <sighs> Have you noticed that, like, whenever I make these episodes, though, that there's all the introductory bit, always, there's pretty much always something going wrong. <laughs> I just find that weird. Well, it shows that I am terrible at these kind of games, but I just find it funny. Oh god, that shadow. The hell? That was terrible. I'm stuck going 32 miles an hour. Go! Also, that guy looks like he's got an American flag license. Oh shit! No! Oops. See, I'm terrible. I lost grip almost immediately. What the hell is this plate? He's got a Cuda plate. Cool. Now I want to buy one. It looks like an actual license plate as well. But one is this. Oh shit! That's a um. Maybe Chevelle SS? I have no idea. But any of the, if uh, I know that this is Nel Camino. I, I know that this car exists from Classic Gaming. And, um, watch that show, by the way. Pretty awesome. Uh, it's on YouTube. It is a YouTube show, primarily. Um, although, in my opinion, it's gone more downhill. In the past year. Year and a half. Because, like, it used to be like game review every day, and now it's like. It, it's a game review show. But now it's like, oh, let's do. Let's review comics. Let's review toy cars. Let's review. That's a special. Oh, let's, do stuff let's review. Comic books. Mm. 
let, let's learn how to draw comic books. Let's do Q and A's. So then you only have like three days where they actually review games. I mean, it's got. It's just not. And then, like, one of those days might be a console review. Because they had to go on Daily Motion for a while, the real upload because of YouTube copyright issues. They had, because obviously, as a game review thing, they're more likely to get those problems because. You know. It's a thing. Um, it's just likely to happen. You know, you. You, you get like one or two new game reviews a week, which. I mean, you can say, well, that's good for someone that's reviewing games, but. When you, you, when you used to get six. It's not good anymore. Like I'll turn, I'll turn my computer on. I'll go on YouTube and be like, "Oh, he's reviewed a comic book." Okay. Or he's showing us how to draw. Or I don't care. Or. He's reviewing a chunk. I don't care. I want. I subscribe to the channel to watch game reviews, and you can see that as well in the view counts. And people, I've, I've watched it. Well, I didn't watch it. I heard it. The Total Biscuit talking about it. Where it's like, don't tell people. You know, as a if you're a fan of someone, don't tell them that they shouldn't do something. Don't don't tell them to cancel the show on their YouTube channel because. They'll be able to see the analytics and see if the show is popular or not. But the view counts are publicly like view, see like viewable, and you can see that these videos aren't getting the views that like the game reviews are. And it's just I want to see reviews. I don't. I didn't subscribe to the channel. Like, I, I know you think, well, watch Toy Car I subscribed to see game reviews. I didn't subscribe to see how to draw a comic book. But that's, uh, now I've left that kind of on a downer because I really used to love that show. In fact, I've donated shit to the show. Um, Pal PS2 is mine. Bunch of Grand Turismo games that he's probably going to review at some point are mine. Well, a bunch of Pal PS2 games are mine as well. Um,. Including the worst game in the world. Um, <coughs> oh man, that I sent. That doesn't matter. Thank you very much for watching. And ta -ra.